Sunday morning, everybody. We're gonna put these on, Sue. Y'all don't have to see the giant bags under my eyes. I'm so tired. Ugh, all right. Anyway, it is, what time is it? 9.50 in the morning. I'm sorry, 8.50 in the morning. I'm looking at the clock, I still get it wrong. It is Sunday morning, August 19th. That I know for sure. Well, yeah, that I know for sure. <laughs> After counting in my head. Um, we got home last night from Portland and my niece's wedding. It was a really fun time. Um, there's some interesting film footage in uh, last week's vlog, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description below. Some, I think, really fun um, video images of Portland and Washington. Um, they live just over the border in um, Washington near Olympia. Where am I going? The grocery store, I forgot. Um, so that was a lot of fun, but tiring. And the kids are in town from where they're living in Oregon, uh, visiting Polyus's parents. And they um, said, you know, hey, we're in town. Can we get together for lunch or something? And I said, of course you can. The problem is I don't have anything for them to eat. So, I am headed out to the grocery store. The husband's playing golf this morning for a couple hours with his friends before the kids come over. While he's doing that, I'm going to head to the store and get some food for everybody to eat because we ain't got nothing. We got Jack Squat in the fridge. I think some bottled water and breakfast bars and cherries that need to be thrown out. I think that's about it. So, I'm going to go take care of that this morning and then I still have to do my daily postings. I haven't done that. Except for the positive affirmation card for today for my sister's goddess group. So, which you all just saw a second ago if you're watching this clip. Um, I didn't pull for two days because I was out of town. But anyway. Um, I think that's it for this morning for the moment. There is a live broadcast of Intervals of Sanity this afternoon. I'll link the channel in the description below. It's a YouTube channel with some of my art and mixed media friends where we just have chatty conversations, usually at least in part funny conversations about life, about art, about all kinds of stuff, not necessarily art related, not necessarily um, young ears friendly. I mean, we do try to not have it to be too vulgar, but you never know what's gonna come out of anybody's mouth. So anyway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the broadcast because the kids are coming over, so but we'll see. And I said I haven't had any uh, very much sleep the last couple of days again, so I'm my brain's not working on all cylinders. Anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I can't think of anything else. I'll be back. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Holy cow, is it Monday or what? It's Monday, August 20th, and it's 2.04 p.m. And I know that because it's 2.04 p.m. I've been up doing a lot of business stuff today. And my last meeting for the day is finally over, woohoo. And we've been doing some cleaning and DIY also. And now I'm gonna go get the mail. Uh, my neighbor's has a Mini Cooper who's parked right near the edge of my driveway. It's not giving me a lot of room to get out of my driveway. Okay, got it, yay. All right, so anyway, so now I'm gonna go get my mail and uh, that sort of thing. And the laundry is done. I have to do the dishes still, but you know what? I don't feel like it right now. It's 84 degrees outside, but I swear it's at least 100 on the inside of my car. It is 
gross and hot and yucky again. Every year about this time, I just think to myself, oh my God, is it winter yet? I'm really not a summer girl. I really just love the fall uh, and winter months. Spring too, I just, I really don't like hot, hot, hot weather. It's just not something I enjoy at all. My husband loves it. He's the opposite of me. Me, I can't stand it. Anyway. Alrighty. So, we're going to go get the mail. We were in um, the Portland, Oregon, and Washington area uh, Friday and Saturday for a family wedding. So, I haven't gotten the mail since Thursday. So, Lord knows what's there or how much of it. Um, yeah, I just don't even know. I'm expecting some essential oils, so hopefully that's in. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So let's go find out, shall we? So nothing big, a couple of bills, a couple of magazines, and my essential oils, but they weren't done sorting today's mail. But I'm not coming back. I'll let it go until tomorrow. She said they've been super busy today, which was evident by how many people were in there. So crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, it's Monday. Feels like full, full moon Monday or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to the house and just chill a little bit. I'm going to see if some of my art friends are still zooming. They've been chatting and I'm going to see if they're still there. Maybe I can chat with them a little bit. That would be cool. I might need to make myself a glass of iced tea first because not only am I thirsty, I'm really feeling like I need a little caffeine kick. I don't know. Probably because I didn't sleep again. <laughs> I'm just, you know, when you're a creative and you use it as your form of therapy to help you deal with life and things and all your stuff is in boxes and you can't get to most of it, yeah, it's just not good. That's all I can say. It's just not good. So, yeah, I'm not sleeping very well. That's going to be at least three weeks before I get a decent, decent night's sleep. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go back to the house and just relax a bit. I'll be back. Tuesday morning everyone so it is Tuesday morning it is still technically morning it's just after 11 but I've been up uh, for quite a while um, making a bunch of uh, business phone calls and arranging some paperwork and answering questions and stuff like that um, I'm also giving away some more stuff I've got it at the curb I've been purging and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna take a little film clip out the window right here real no, quick. No, I'm not because I don't want to give away anybody's car license plate or anything. But I'm giving away this giant um, flower pot with the wheels that it was sitting on and the plant that's inside it, the whole thing. And I put it at the curb. I listed it on Nextdoor.com, which is a neighborhood bulletin board website that you can sign up for. I do believe it's worldwide. Um, anyway, um, and I listed it for free. Just come take it away. You can have it. And a guy said right away he was coming to get it. He showed up in a Prius. Okay, the flower pot without the plant in it is like three feet tall. It's full of dirt and has a big plant in it that's at least another two feet. That shit's not fitting in your Prius, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, it gives me my laugh for this morning though. Holy cow. So anyway, I am going to wait until he realizes it's not fitting in his car. And then I have some errands I'm going to go run, so... I'll be so I am outside my local Orchard Supply hardware store and I took a still picture of this quote that's on the wall. I'm going to share it on social media later today, but I thought I'd film it for you all here on the vlog because I really, I don't know, there's something about it. Life is all about the nuts and the bolts. Ain't that the truth? Think about the bigger picture here, people, and you'll get it. Anyway, I am done with my errands, I think, so I'm going to go back to the house and unload the groceries and everything. I'm gonna pop by the P.O. box on the way home and whatever mail's ready I'll pick up so I don't have to go out again.
And I think that's it for right now. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, August 20 crap. Not 20 crap, 22nd, I believe. Yeah, 22nd, I had to count. Um, I, it is already 1224 in the afternoon and I spent the morning catching up on one of my um, sketchbooks, my daily sketchbooks, because I've, uh, we got involved in all this business stuff and I started neglecting my daily drawing. So I just finished the April sketchbook today. I'll insert some of the drawings here somewhere. And I am, I was also chatting with my friends on Zoom. And right now we are gonna go get some ink cartridges for my husband's printer because he has like no ink. And, which is funny because he never, he doesn't use his printer that much. It's either no ink or it's all dried up, I don't know. So, but none of his printer cartridges are working. So we're gonna go recycle them and buy some new ones and then I'm gonna get the mail. I've got an Etsy order, I've gotta get out. And then I'm gonna eat lunch, watch my soap opera, do some laundry, nothing super exciting. I have to email my aunt about a family event this weekend. Um, I'm reminding myself. Um, did some more packing today. No purging right now, at least not yet of things. I haven't found anything to purge. And um, they're going to think I'm neglecting them over at the Goodwill. But um, I think we were pretty purged out, I think. <clears throat> anyway, my um, asthma is just not doing well lately. The air quality in the state of California sucks and because of all the fires. So I sound like this all the time. If you can't tell, I tell I'm a little raspy. Um, it just doesn't seem to get better. And it, the more I'm out, the worse it is. So I'm going to try to make this quick and get in and get out quickly. And then go home and have some lunch, maybe take my rescue inhaler, and that sort of thing. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, the 23rd of August. I almost said April. Um, it is 10 something in the morning, 10, 44. Yeah, I think, let's see. Yeah, 10.44. Today's one of those I need my glasses day. I don't know, I'm just tired. Anyway, um, I've been this morning um, doing some paperwork and watching the live stream by my friends at Art Joy of Sharing. I'll link their channel in the description below and getting laundry started. I should be updating the website, but I'm stalling. <laughs> Um, and I am going to go out and run a few errands and I've got to get some groceries. The husband's working at home tomorrow, so I need to make sure he's got munchables and stuff for lunch and all of that stuff. So I'm going to go get that done and I'll be back. One more stop. So my windshield says it's only 69 degrees outside, but it feels like it's about 89. And I think it's trying to be a blue sky, but there's so much smog and smoke out because of the fires in California. The air quality is so bad that there's a layer of like gray haze over the sky. And the longer I'm out, the more I sound like this. Because my poor lungs can't just can't take it. Um, so I try to be as quick as I can. I have one more stop. And I'm going to go over to the mall where I get my mail, pop into one store to pick something up and check on the mail and get whatever is available and then just go home and I'm not going to go out again. I've been using the air conditioner a lot this summer because 
it's hard for me with the air quality being so bad to have the windows and doors open. So, plus I'm home alone a lot and San Jose is a, you know, kind of safe-ish big city, but it's, you know, still a big city, so. Anyway, it's not as safe as some places. All right, so I found a really cute red and white metal enamel pitcher that matches a red and white metal enamel coffee pot I have of my grandmother's. And I think I might use both of them on the new kitchen counter to hold cooking utensils. So, or at least the new one. Anyway, put a plant or something in the old one. It's pretty cool. All right. Try not to buy too much stuff for the new house because number one, I don't want to um, do that yet till I get there. But number two, I don't want to pack it and move it. So, but this little pitcher was only eight dollars and it was on clearance. It was the last one they had. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now because I just sound worse and worse. I'll be back. Hey guys, I have spent most of the morning buried in paperwork and phone calls for the new house. I still need to do update the website. I haven't done it yet, and it's Friday. Uh, I almost said April. Holy cow! Friday, August 24th, and it's 11.24, just before lunch. So I actually think I'm gonna have a third cup of coffee. Uh, holy cow, do I look tired. Um, I have some happy mail to open, and I'm gonna just take a break from the desk for a minute. I'm waiting for an email reply to something so I can scan one last document and send it off, and then it's a matter of waiting for phone calls back. Um, after lunch, I'm going to work on the website because, you know, that's a thing I need to take care of. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I've got some more coffee. Yes, this is a Christmas coffee cup. It says get your jingle on. I know, but it's a huge cup. I love it. If I could find a big, giant, like, 20-ounce coffee cup with a really cool owl on it, I would be using that. Anyway, I have happy mail from Peg, my friend Peg Robinson. I have no idea what this is. Wasn't expecting it um, at all. So hopefully it's something that's okay to show on camera. <laughs> I don't know any idea. It is my friend Peg from Inner Rules of Sanity. It's a YouTube channel where we do sort of live chit chats about life and art and other funny, hilarious, semi-inappropriate stuff. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I don't know what this is. I think it's just Happy Mail, but let's find out. But, by the way, before I open it, isn't the envelope cool? Look at that stamp. And that whole front and back, it's a jelly print, I'm pretty sure. So I'll be putting that. I do have one box open of art supplies and stuff for, that I can get to during the move. Let's see stuff. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there's even a little paint on the inside. Can you all see that? Oh, that's cool. I love that. Anyway. So she set some really cool stuff. Look at this. I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame. I love the print. I love the torn edges. This is going to look great on a journal page. Look at this deli paper. This is from Chili's, the restaurant Chili's. She probably she must do what I do so when I'm out dinner <clears throat> at a restaurant that has cool deli paper I often ask the wait staff you know hey is there any way I can get a clean piece of this deli paper without any grease or food stains on it I'm a mixed-media artist I'd love to use it in my journal more often than not they'll give you a piece of paper at least one piece of paper I've usually they give you more than that this is a napkin it might be one of those Dina Wakely napkins. I'm not sure you're going to get all of it in camera because we're sitting here with a little tripod on my desk. But it's like watercolory, which I love. I don't know if 
It doesn't feel like Peg did it. It feels like it's printed, but it's cool nonetheless. There's another piece of napkin. That's a cool one. I love the beach. Grateful for you. Have fun, Peg. Aw, thank you, Peg. Here's a piece of vintage book paper. Oh, I love this. I don't know what book this is from. American Migratory Songbird is what it says at the bottom. I many times thought peace had come when peace was far away, as wrecked men deem they sight the land at center of the sea, and struggle slacker but to prove as uh, hopelessly as I how many fictitious shores before the harbor lie. Really cool. And, oh, look at this. It's a, a card, a postcard. We'll go look at that last. So here's a, another piece of fun printed paper. Some word stickers. I love my words. Y'all should know that by now. Nice. Um, a little um, cutout image. Excuse slip. Oh, this must be... Oh, it's from like, like your doctor's office. Live long time clinic. That must be a joke. Oh, by APG. This is APG Jamie. She's a YouTuber. Nice. I love it. And then she sent me this um, card, which I love. Plant kindness and gather love. Prover it's a proverb. This is from a tea bag. There's a couple different kinds of tea that have... Um, quotes and things on the tea bag label um, and if I can think of the brand I will put it in the description below for those of you who also love to use words in your journals and love tea and it feels like it's covered with a napkin with some book text I love it and then there's a note on the back let me read so she has a card lottery um, drawing on one of her on her videos on her channel and I won very cool I love that so anyway there you have it fun happy mail who doesn't love happy mail that's it right now I'm going to finish my coffee have some lunch take a little break from the desk and then I guess I'll work on the website updates which are again like two weeks behind damn it <laughs> all right I'll be back so it's after lunch now I got the last of the paperwork and e e uh, emails associated with such off. I got some stuff organized for the new house, purchase and move, and <clears throat> my throat sounds like crap again because I'm outside in the haze and the smog. Um, <clears throat> holy cow. Anyway, um, dragging my feet about updating the website um, once I get it done once I sit down and actually get motivated enough to do it it will only take me about an hour or so but um, yeah anyway I'm gonna go get the mail and see what's up with that show up a week from Tuesday to start packing up the San Jose house so it's going to be a big deal. They pack one day and then they come back the next day and load their truck. So I got a lot to do before then. What else? Um, of setting up a Patreon. I've resisted this for a long time. Because <clears throat> at least to me for a while it was too much like begging for money, which I don't want, still don't want to do. But I'm thinking about taking the 
online classes that are currently available for purchase in my Etsy shop and putting them in Patreon instead. And that way you can make a donation and get instant access to all of the old classes. And then I have kind of some ideas for some new ones um, where I would do maybe a speed through on YouTube, but there would be a full talking version on Patreon. Um, and maybe for patrons over there, there would be um, like a monthly bonus of something special that um, isn't really available anywhere else. So I don't know if that's something that you think you guys might be interested in supporting my art that way. Let me know. I sure would love to go back to being a contributing member of the family budget because right now I'm not really and I am not really okay with that. It'd be nice to be able to help pay for some things. Dude, it's nice if you wait till you back up until you see if there's people back there. Jesus Christ. I almost got run into turning into my parking space. I'm going to go check the mail. Okay. First of all, the mail delivery came really late, like a couple minutes of an drove up. So it wasn't sorted yet. It's come late all week. And somebody came in right before me and dropped this big, huge, giant box, almost as big as me, like right in the middle of the floor and then just walked out. So I helped her move it because, you know, I told her about some new merch that I'm thinking about coming out with and she said, I told her what one of them said and she said, oh, I'd buy that. <laughs> so, so I will put some uh, pictures here somewhere <laughs> of the new merch. I have two samples coming and we'll see what happens. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And um, yeah. So no mail today. It's alright, it's probably just bills anyway. It'll still be there tomorrow. Good Saturday morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, 11, 11 a.m. Um, so technically it's still morning. It's August, crap, 25th? Yeah, it's August 25th. I'm, I have the iPad, so I just checked. Um, I am watching a video by Peg Rob, my friend Peg Robinson. Um, if you don't know who she is, I'll link her channel in the description below. Um, yeah, she did a series on traveling journals where she swapped journals with some other people and she's um, showing what she did in their pages, so that's pretty fun. Did some more, a little more packing this morning. Um, made some arrangements for things, because I will be um, temporarily unavailable online um, or irregularly available <laughs> online for uh, about a week or so is my guesstimate um, from the 1st until about the 7th. I will be filming it for the vlog, but the vlog for that time period will be late, and I will probably end next week's vlog on Friday instead of Saturday. I'll still film Saturday, but I'll add it to the following vlog, and then um, and then get that posted. Um, so anyway, you probably won't miss the vlogs, but um, the first one you see in September will be the end of August and then the next one you see after that will be a little bit longer because it'll be actually the one where we're moving. I know, right? And um, yeah, so today we need to go get my husband's car to service and um, we have a dinner with some family. Um, and friends before we leave uh, town um, tonight so well I don't have to worry about dinner yay um, I do need to on the way uh, after I'm done taking the hubby to uh, get his car serviced I need to go to the grocery store and I need to go to the mailbox I have an Etsy order that's got to go out and stuff like that so nothing super exciting today but if I can when I can I will film some things for you later today and if I can fi film some stuff at my aunt's house with the dinner. I will do that and I will be back.
calling me a nag, Fred. Say hi. Hi, Fred. <laughs> we are headed to um, my aunt's house to have a family dinner and um, yeah, get out of the house and away from the chaos that is our house at the moment with all the boxes. And just somewhere where we can take a deep breath. So and we're going to, yeah, and chill. So we're going to go do that and we'll be back. but I see them in my class a lot. There's another one. Hey guys, so it's 919 on Saturday night, the 25th of August. We are just now leaving my aunt's mm -hmm. house. After having a great dinner with the family, I did get a couple of shots. I was trying not to invade anybody's privacy, though, so I didn't get too much. And I'm going to be taking the sound out, but anyway. It was really great to spend time with mm -hmm. family before we move, and they're so supportive. We do appreciate them so much. Absolutely. And uh, we had a really great time, but now it's time to go home. Time to go home. We're going to end the vlog this week. We hope you've had a great one. We have, definitely. The next week's going to be super stressful, <sighs> but we'll do it. We'll do it. And we'll bring you with us. So have a good one. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Good night, Fred. <laughs>